This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. My name is Tiffany and today we are beginning a very, very long vlog. I am preparing for a little event. I'm getting back into tabling and I'm so, so excited. It has been something that I've been wanting to do for a minute now and I've just had a lot of different ideas for what I want to change. I took a little bit of a break from tabling, not intentionally, but I haven't done it since like, I think around Thanksgiving. And so I finally have some time to get back into it. This summer is going to be pretty busy for me. I have like two events lined up in July already in Atlanta. All the information will be in the description box and I will put it right here on the screen. But I'm really excited because I'm going to be seeing some of you guys hopefully. So if you guys can make it out, I would love it. Have this video planned to go up before the 9th. So if you guys are free July 9th, I would love if you guys stop by. But it's time for me to start preparing and because I haven't done tabling in so long, I have a bunch of stuff to like unpack and do and buy and figure out. I I've realized that every single time I start a tabling event, I don't want to like necessarily repurchase and redo my whole entire layout. Ideally, one day my goal is that I will be able to have a consistent setup and that every single time I won't have anything to think about. I will know how my setup goes. It will always be like this and like this and like this. And this time we're getting a little bit closer to it because I'm going to be having some little furniture pieces coming in. That's going to be later in the video and I'm really excited about that. Because I am always improving and I kind of started from scratch with tabling, I just have to re-get a bunch of stuff. So I ordered a bunch of stuff a few days ago and it all came in the mail. Some of the things I've already unpackaged are this stamp from Vistaprint. I got two of their stamps. I don't know if you guys remember me complaining about my old stamps for my envelopes for my small shop, but these are way better than the ones I had before. Let me actually show you what they look like on the envelopes because it's super cute. So here are some of my envelopes that I use. I actually am running out of these, so these are some of my last ones, but this is how I've been doing it. So I have one with my PO box address so that I don't have to hand write it. So I just line this up here on the edge and ta-da! Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh! This one came out a little bit messed up, so let me show you again. I'm not the best at stamping these. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it well, but this one's perfect. Generally, they come out pretty good, but look how cute! And then I have this one that goes in the corner and it says, thank you. And so, look how cute! It just is so much more personalized. I know that I can get envelopes printed, but as of right now in my current system, I actually prefer doing this just cause it's a lot easier for me and I don't have to worry about stuff. And I already know that I love these envelopes and I love the sizing for them. So that is what they look like on the front of them, like right here. I also am going to put one just in the center. So this is what the new envelopes look like for when you get your mail from me. And I think they just look so cute. And the graphics look just a lot cleaner this time around and they look a lot more professional. So I'm very happy with how these came out. And I also got two hole punchers. I actually need to return this one. I was looking for one that would work. I know you guys have been begging me to get a hole puncher for these things because I used to cut the holes by hand. But I got hole punchers and they're not perfect, but they do the job. My issue is that none of them reach the center far enough. See, this one's pretty close, but this one is not even close. So that's always been my issue. But this one uh, works well enough that when I put it in the middle like this, and then I punch a hole out, it is off center. But one of these guys really quick can show you. It does fit. It does like entirely cover up the center. So it is perfectly fine and usable. You don't see the hole being off centered until obviously like you take this off. This works well enough for me and for my purposes. So I'm still on the hunt for a perfect hole puncher. But those are the only things that I have unboxed. I have everything else I'm gonna bring up here. It's gonna be so much stuff. I don't know if I have room here because it's been a bit of a mess. Also my desk is crazy too. So hopefully I will be able to make some space. But those are the only things. I have been starting to package these already just like off on the side. I have I have like two of these boxes ready to go just because I actually really enjoyed packaging these phone grips because the phone grip packaging just works so well. And this is from the last time I ordered packaging. So this is nothing new, but it looks super cute. The dimensions are super good. And I decided to opt out of plastic for this. We'll talk more about that later. I'm gonna go get all my materials. The floor is actually really messy right now. So I'm gonna go clean it really quick and I'll be right back. 
And while I'm cleaning off my floor, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. All of the stuff that you guys see here today will be on my website, if not later this week. All thanks to Squarespace and their amazing commerce tools, and they helped me build my entire website, and I could not thank them enough because they're so amazing to use. If you guys aren't familiar with Squarespace, they're a platform for creating your own website, and they have amazing templates for you to follow, but they are also super customizable, so every website ends up being unique. I was really able to capture my aesthetic that I liked with Squarespace, so I'm so glad that they are super easy to use, especially when I'm changing out products as well, because you guys will see later on in this video, I get a bunch of new stickers and I will be listing those on my Squarespace website as well. You guys can check out my website down below to see all of the art that I've listed thanks to Squarespace. And please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and use the code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. And now let's get back into the vlog. A lot of these boxes I like consolidated because I am getting furniture pieces from Vertical Ledge this time around. I actually started planning for what my setup is gonna look like. I ordered a lot of stuff based off of how I think I'm gonna do a setup. And also I got like a bunch of new packaging and stuff like that. So I spent a lot of money so far. I'm down a lot of money, but hopefully we make it all back. So I'm really hoping the turnout for these events is gonna be good. These aren't recurring events that I've done before yet. I did recently get invited to like an artist group where I can be in recurring events. I will probably be doing that in like August or September. As of right now, this is all the stuff that I got. I got these little bags that actually, when I first ordered these, I was planning for my Vistaprint stamp to be bigger so that I could just stamp it. But these actually look like they will be perfectly fine for the stamp that I have. Last time I did a major booth where I needed bags, I just drew on a bunch of them like this. And although this was very cute, it just took me a lot of time because I sell a lot of little things. I don't typically offer bags, but like if someone buys a lot of my stuff, obviously I wanna be able to supply them with what they need. So I got these and I'm gonna put a stamp on them. I actually want to try this right now. And this happens to be a flat surface, so we're just gonna do it like this. If I just... That's pretty cute! That looks pretty good! Better than I uh, anticipated. I'm gonna do another one. I love using this stamp, guys. Like, it's so much fun. They look so cute! So, if you can imagine my little name on it you know so i think this looks pretty good i would like if the stamp was a little bit larger but like it'll do for now it'll do for this time around 200 100 but this whole box is full of those so later in the day i will have to go through and stamp all of these next i got this acrylic stand a bunch of screws that it came with i didn't want to get another one of these because i actually already had two from the last uh, event that i did but they were like really small and this time my furniture pieces my vertical ledge furniture pieces are literally what i'm I'm basing this entire setup off of and those ones definitely would look really good with like this larger acrylic stand in the middle so that's what I planned and I also planned something that can go on the furniture I'm gonna do a little DIY this will probably make more sense when I actually receive it just trust me it's gonna be really exciting because I'm gonna have like a wall floor stand and it's gonna be it's just gonna be really cool I don't want to explain it too much without you guys seeing it because it's not gonna make any sense but just trust me bro this is oh a desk business card holder or just little acrylic ones i used to have a pink one but because i'm getting wooden furniture pieces i just feel like having plastic clear plastic acrylic things will just look so much better so i think this is a four piece i'm also going to mount some of these onto my furniture piece basically for vertical ledge i'm going to be receiving like these floor stands and it's going to be like a little partition wall thing so i'm really excited to have that kind of display as opposed to like stuff just all on the table because i feel like people when they walk by are more comfortable looking at stuff on like a wall at like their eye level than they are like looking at stuff on a table and then you're probably sitting there right at the table and it's just like so i'm gonna have a vertical setup to be able to display a lot of new things so i'm gonna be try to mount these i don't know how well it'll go uh but we will try our best oh my gosh i got a uh a cash register like box they oh it is so cute I'm always worried with ordering pink things because I feel like the shade is really important and it's not always super cute. You guys know that I used to use a money egg and I still love my money egg. I probably will bring it. But last few times, I personally prefer cash. Finding change has been really hard because it's all just been in that money egg and it's all disheveled and it slows me down. Depending on how big of an outcome we have or like how many people show up, 
I might have to actually find change efficiently. Did it come locked? That's a bit hardcore in my opinion. It's so pretty. So now we have like an official box. I can lock this. It has like stuff in it, little hair. Okay, thanks Amazon. But it's cute, isn't it? So like I'll be able to like actually find change and stuff for once. I wasn't planning on getting this necessarily, but it just came up and I just thought it was so cute. I'm definitely gonna lose this key like immediately, but I really hope that I don't. So I'm gonna try to not uh, do that, but I'm gonna move this back a little bit. I'm gonna put that there. Continuing our haul, I just got some more of these little pink baggies partially because i need them for my online store because i'm trying to switch a little bit away from plastic as much as i can right now for the event i might have these as well i'm not too sure i will have to see but we got these acrylic ledges for vertical ledge stuff that we're going to receive later so i'm going to have a whole box i'm going to leave these in here of things that pertain more to my furniture pieces these are also for that oh i thought these were metal but these are plastic it's just a bunch of these little hook guys, and I'm gonna be using these on there as well. Um, I'm not sure if this will do what I wanted it to do. I may have to return these. I will have to see about that. And lastly, I got these uh, sleeves. So these are what I use for packaging my stickers, and it's not, I need scissors. And it's not that the ones that I currently have don't, but they just don't fit as well. As I would like them to so I'm going to try to find the ones that I used to use because the ones I currently use fit my business cards just a tad bit too loosely so they don't look as good but let's get a card these are the sleeves that I currently use when I put my stickers in here as you can see but there's a bit of a gap around the edges and it just makes the whole thing look a little bit sloppy whereas before I actually had sleeves that fit these perfectly so I'm gonna see if these do, because obviously for like in-person purchases, presentation is everything. I will still be using these because I'm not gonna waste these and I have like a thousand of these. I use these on my online shop, but for in-person, I really hope that these fit snugly. It just looks so much cleaner, so much better. I am so much happier with these. So these are gonna, these are gonna work just fine. Very happy about that. And I'm gonna be using that to package stickers for the event that I actually should be doing soon already. I haven't uh, packaged any sticker packs yet. Also, I'm getting new stickers in the mail as well in a few days. So we are just super busy right now. I think that's all the Amazon stuff. This is unrelated, but my dad does have a bunch of these envelopes that he doesn't use so he asked me to use these up so now we have these as well and i'm also going to use my stamps but that's a side project for me now we have vista prints which is super exciting so this is where i get all of my cards printed and stuff i got a couple of different packagings printed so that I can use them for my shop both online and in person but i think most of these are for in person whoa these are stiff first things first i can get these out oh my gosh did i not change this wait i printed these wrong did i really do that oh my god i mean they're still totally usable they're supposed to come out as tinier versions of my current thank you cards which look like this and they have this on the back but i guess i just put the name section on the back also this is cut off are they all cut off oh my god they're all cut off what was i doing okay well go me i have one two three four i have four blocks of these well i'll still use these online it's not like the worst mistake but that's a bit unfortunate these i'm a bit nervous about because i hope i did it right these are gonna be for bigger stickers because in my last few videos you guys have seen that the new ufo stickers that i've been making don't fit my old packaging and i don't want to be held back by my old packaging packaging in terms of like my sticker designs but i do need to find some other way to package these for my event so it should be one pink and one purple oh i see the purple one already it looks really cute wow yes i did it right okay this is what they look like i did all of these in the same dimensions as my phone grip guys currently because these are just like the best dimensions that i've ever seen that does however mean that i have to cut these back their printing is really strange like it's really bright and this one is for the keychains so these are for like littler keychains or smaller packaging for keychains basically my thoughts were just if i wanted to hang keychains just like on their own individually or if i wanted to package all of them and i think i decided that 
that because I don't actually have that many like variations of things to sell, I'm going to have a row of keychains that are hung individually. And then next to them, I'm gonna have a row of these. So I'm gonna do both, possibly. Also, this is my section right here for paper goods and I am running out of space. <laughs> this is where I've been storing all of my paper stuff. So I have like my thank you cards here that I've actually been working through and my phone grip cards. Like over here behind this box, that used to be a bunch of my convention stuff, but now I changed it to keychains. So I'm gonna cut up some stuff today and then probably reorganize that section so that I can have the rest of my paper goods here. I've been reorganizing a little bit lately. I feel like when I'm decluttering, I also just feel better when things get out of their packaging and where they're supposed to be. So for these, all of these out. Can't forget to put my Sunny Angel back. Also, I need to restock my envelopes. I have like none left. Also, now I have these bags of keychains on the floor, so I need to put these somewhere else. So I wanna start cutting this big stack of new prints, but the issue is that my desk looks literally like this. So these are the ducky pouches that I've been working on. I took a bit of a hiatus because I'm waiting on some of the zippers, but I do have about like five of them finished, but I'm gonna clean these up. I have a pink little bin behind me. I'm gonna put them all in here. This is the bin in question, and I'm just going to put the pieces in here. These two are actually mail that I finished today. But I did go to my friend's house recently and I did all of these little pouches. I should actually stack these up so that they look better. But I have a lot of these ducky pouches. There we go. These actually all have zippers installed already. And then these are my finished duckies. Miscellaneous pieces. And now I have a lot more space on my desk. That's literally crazy. Wow, my desk looks really, really clear. I'm gonna start with this set, which is the cutie stickers. We have the thank you on the back and then there's stickers. And these are for specifically my UFOs that I will be getting the pink versions of very soon this week, I think. I got a shipping statement like earlier today, but it'll look like, you know, so that, that'll be very, very cute. But I got these for when I make sticker packs of like a bunch of them. I think I'm gonna use these for the big sticker packs that I make. You know how I make like the set of like 20? I usually do those for conventions, especially because people get like decision paralysis and they don't like having to think about what they want to get. I just try to make a set of like all of my favorites. And I'm like, if you love all these stickers, you can just get this pack, it's at a discount. People seem to love that usually, so I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm gonna just start by slicing these up. Okay, next are the cutie keychains, and I think these are gonna be really great for like the blobfish guys, because they're super small. They would just fit like that, and it would look really cute. And then these would also be better for when I do wholesale and stuff as well, so. So I did a really big stack of the keychain ones and they look like this. It's gonna take me a while to get through these for sure, but when you start packaging stuff, this stuff goes by really fast. So thank you ones. And I think they look pretty good despite being <laughs> misprinted, which was totally my fault. But yeah, we got everything cut and all done. And here are all of the little paper scraps that we ended up with, but I'm gonna get rid of these now. Goodbye paper. So this is what my current little caddy looks like. I'm gonna clean this up right now so that I can get ready to prep some stuff because I think a lot of the stuff that I got today would actually look really good and function very well in here. So I'm going to change the little layout of this. I need to replenish my envelopes really quickly so that I have enough for next time I ship out orders. Nice. waiting for all of these to dry. So this is what it currently looks like right now. And this is the after. I think it looks so much better. I put my miscellaneous like yellow packaging down here cause it's ugly. And I cannot wait to use all of this packaging so that I no longer have to look at it and I can order new ones. I got these when I first started Etsy back in 2020 and I still haven't used all of them cause I got like a thousand of them. I would love to update to these craft mailers, but this is what it looks like now. I pretty much put all of the stuff that I cut up in here. And the section I put one of my most popular prints right now now, which I actually need to refill. I just ran downstairs to get another box of these because again, if I can get them out of the packaging, that is partially decluttering and I will take it. These are just another set of the, oops, I totally ripped it, so it doesn't matter, 
prints. They are so pretty. These are literally my favorite prints I've ever had. These are available in my shop online. You guys are interested, but they are so cute. It's this little girl. It's this little bunny girl laying in a field of pink flowers. It's so cute. And honestly, vibes. Wish this was me, but whatever. I'm just gonna replenish these down there as well. And this way, I am just a little bit more decluttered. I went downstairs to grab that stack of prints and I also saw this guy. So I went to the arcade with my friends yesterday and it was so much fun. These are the photos that we took and they're so cute, are they not? They're like the really silly like photo booths, but they were really cute and we like decorated these photos ourselves. And I need to cut these up because there were five of us. So I volunteered to be the one to cut these since I was like, I think someone should do it with an X-Acto knife and a ruler because they're, it's like so delicate. My friend Yanni won me this. We probably spent like $40 trying to get this. I've been wanting him for so long and I'm so happy. Is he not so cute? He's from like the tiny little claw machines. And look at his feet. Ah! He's so cute. I just love the colors. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him or where I should hang him, but he is like my favorite little friend right now. So I just wanna go share him with you. I feel like this is like one of the only claw machine toys I've seen that I thought was like actually really, really cute. Not just like claw machine standards cute, but like super cute and I love him. I would have bought this, but I had to win it for like $40, but that's beside the point. I'm gonna cut this up right now before I forget because I'm gonna see them again on like 4th of July. I'm gonna attempt to cut this right now. What if I used this ruler? <laughs> so accurate, wow. Okay, I just did one. I think it went well. Time to do <laughs> all of the rest of them. I did it. I split them all into five. It's a little bit sad, but it's also kind of cute. I think I'll just take this one, the multi one. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job cutting these. Oh, what? It had lines on the back? It's crazy. I didn't even look at that. Well, anyway, they're all cut now. Looks so cute. Here's a close-up of all of them. You can see, like, we drew on all of these. So each person drew one. This one is the one that I drew. And we all have different ones, so they're so cute. And we have my little guy. So these are all done. I'll be giving these to my friends next time I see them, which hopefully will be soon. Yesterday was a lot of fun. I haven't been to the arcade like that in, like, a minute. So I I was like kind of really excited. But also yesterday I picked up my two Sunny Angel purchases that I got from the mail. I got them from my PO box and these are ones that I bought online. Oh my God. Is this what people do in the community? I didn't know. And then it has this note, which is like, thank you so much for giving ice cream a new home. That is literally so cute. So this is my ice cream Sunny Angel. <gasps> Amazing. I will save this bubble wrap because I'm sure I will send out another Sunny. God. Ah! My ice cream Sunny Angel. So cute. What a baby. I love him. So I will be adding this to my collection. This was my first ever Sunny Angel purchase from Facebook. And then this one should be my two hippers that I got, which I'm really excited about because I've never had a hipper before. Oh, no bubble wrap. They're brave for that. They gave me a Werther's original butterscotch. That is so funny. I don't know where I'm gonna put them because I wanted to put one on my phone case, but I'm also scared it'll get super scuffed. I don't know if I would actually do that. A little mushroom hipper. I also might put it in my car. That's my other concept. That's my other idea that I have. But I got this one and then I got the carrot hipper. I love the little vegetable guys. So these ones are super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. Fun little random intermission. These guys are my fave faves. Also, oh, I wanted to show you guys. I repainted uh, these little guys that I had. So I have sad little puddings on my desk right now too. So cute. Yeah, I need to figure out where I wanna place these guys. These guys I'm gonna use to pack my like really big sets of stickers, like my Tiff's top picks. I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna pack some of those. Okay, so I just made a list of what I want to be included in these. I decided that I'm gonna be doing my top picks and then I'm also going to be doing a collector set, which is going to be every single sticker that I have on the table. I'll probably package only like 20 or 30 of those packs because I really don't anticipate those selling super well, but if they do, that would be great. The also good thing about this is that I don't have to worry too much about not selling everything because normally I don't want to over package too much and it's always like a hard estimate because I have an event coming up 15th as well anything that I don't sell on the 9th I can bring to the 15th I'm gonna pull out my favorites actually first I'm gonna look at them on the table and decide if it's a good set or not and they look pretty good 
The only thing is that these bags are a little bit too big and I did some research. I can actually cut these back a little bit. So I ordered some different cellophane bags. They should be here tomorrow. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm just going to cut these cutie sticker paper sheets so that I'm ready to pack tomorrow because these guys are not really working. So like for my phone grips and stuff, I'm just gonna put a hang tag on the back and they're just gonna hang without the plastic sleeve because I don't think that's necessary. So I ordered them on Amazon. They're gonna be here literally tomorrow. So for now, I'm just gonna cut some stuff, but I will just see you guys then. We will be uh, ready to rock and roll tomorrow. And I'll probably get some other stuff too. Hello everyone, it is the next day. I have already spent the whole day doing other stuff. I promised a sponsor that I'd have a video to them by Thursday. It is currently Wednesday and it's like 9 p.m. Once I finish this video, I am completely free to be doing all of this stuff, so I'm excited for that. But I did pack some sticker stuff last night, some stickers, but they're not all fully done yet. Ideally, I don't really know entirely how many packs I need. So I'm just kind of going based off of whatever I feel will probably be right. So I'm packing mostly my bunny stickers, regardless of whether that's my candy bond and flower bond and stuff, or my old baby bunny bedtime stickers. Those have always been really popular. I did a lot of uh, flower cat ones because people are really excited about those all the time. And then tomorrow I should be receiving vertical ledge stuff as well as my stickers. And I'm really, really excited. Um, I also just decided because I put all of this Oh my gosh. I put all the stickers that I'm currently putting in this little pack that I'm making right now in my journal and I think it looks really cute and I think because people are always confused what stickers are in what packs, I think I'm going to make a separate little booklet that just has all of the different stickers in there for like what's in each pack so that people can just flip through and see it because it's a lot easier than me like making signs and stuff. Plastic sleeves that I ordered yesterday for the stickers and they fit a lot better. It is a pretty small change. I still wanted that change personally. I don't know if I told you guys about my idea for the collector set, but I am gonna be doing that. I'm going to put one of these in the new sleeves, but I just feel like this amount of gapping looks more acceptable than before. So this is what they look like now. And before, there was this much space on the sides. So it looks just a little bit cleaner, but when you have a bunch of them on a rack, you want them to look as clean as possible. So I think this is better. I'm gonna go through and switch all of these, which is only three of them, because I was smart and I didn't sleeve up everything as I was going through and doing it. But I'm going to pack some of these and I'm gonna pack some of the other stickers. These are all done now. I'm gonna go through and pack some more of these because these look so cute. I'm really happy that these stickers have like a lot of space now to breathe. The packs look bigger as well, but let's pack some of these right now. So to make these sticker packs, I'm just going to set out a bunch of these. So I try to kind of make an order to these so that they look really pink from the outside. So I'm gonna start with basically my entire flower cat collection. It's gonna be a bunch of these little flames. The blue flames are done, and now we're gonna go through and do the yellow, you're ugly ones. I'm gonna go through and do the heart ones, and also the you suck little skateboard ones. But my swirly cat guys, just kind of here in the bottom section. There was one swirly cat. Of course, we have to do the other ones so that they're together literally forever. So there's all of those. Now we're gonna do the baby bunny bedtime ones. These are the only stickers from my newest collection that I will be including in here because I ordered 500 of them. Put the Gamer Girl stickers in here. The red one always goes on the bottom because the GG one has pink in it. And so when that one sits on the top, I think it just looks the best. And the little one for Fishmouth. There's the little Chew and it's so cute. These two are my favorite ones because they are both really pink and really cute. And I just think the colors on these like work really well. Then after that, we just have the Blobfishes candy bond sticker because this one is my favorite one from that entire set. So I'm gonna include these. Lastly, we have some Whale Shark stickers. And there's already so many in here, but the absolute last sticker that I'm gonna put in are these thank you stickers. And these stickers come in every single pack that I have. Of course, I'm gonna be including that in these. This part is really easy. I'm excited to get the pieces that I need for my setup tomorrow so that I can actually start planning what it's gonna look like. So now that I have a bunch of these guys all done, they look so pretty like this. I'm so happy. I'm just going to put the little hang tabs on them and then after that they're gonna be done and here's all of the ones that I've done so far I put them in this tiny box that I got from one of my Amazon purchases 
as you can see there's just a bunch of them like a whole box of them and now these ones can add it although i don't know if they really fit they kind of do this is honestly probably already a little bit overkill but i just want to be prepared this packaging is a little bit different but i have these flower cat sets and then i have like my baby bunnies my other bunnies and my fish mouse sticker packs these are a little bit more niche uh these aren't super popular because a lot of people aren't like into hamsters like that i'm going to get those sealed up because i have a really big stack here i folded all of these last night they're like my toppers for these packagings like, you know, it just like goes like that. And I cut up a few of them. I have to cut them to size. So not all of them are like that, but this is a stack I currently have and it's huge, but I'm gonna go through and staple some of these so that they can be done. So here are all of the packs that I have packed. As you can see, they're kind of split into like shorter little sections. Cause once they get too tall, they start slipping and sliding. So here are the fish mouth ones. You have good night ones, gamer girl ones, which I have very few of cause they're not a really good seller anymore. We have a bunch of flower cat ones and a bunch of the new baby bunny ones. I have a bunch of, these are cut, these are not cut, but I need to go through and do them. We are going to staple these on. Got my stapler, we got all these packs, and now we're gonna go through and, and it's really satisfying because now my stickers fit super well in here. As you can see, like it's so flush and it's so nice and it's so pretty. Lots of uh, inventory. As of right now, I'm not taking packing inventory too, too seriously, just because these are the beginning stages of planning my shop. So all I have to do is just pack like whatever I kind of feel like packing. And then later I can go in and fill the gaps of like what I need to actually pack. I haven't done any keychains yet. Um, those might be reserved for tomorrow when I see how my setup is gonna look. But yeah, very, 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 very exciting. This many of these guys, they look super cute and I'm gonna go through and do everything else. I am out of staples. This is always so satisfying to me. I have to find where I put them. Oh, they're over here. But I have like a mess of staples in one of my bins. I cannot wait to use all of them up. So I kind of, so here is my haul from tonight. Here's everything I did. And I packed more of the more popular ones, but I will definitely go back and fill in the gaps. But I do a lot of these like mega sticker packs of my favorites. For these ones, I already put these little hang tags on and they're all in here. But for these ones, I haven't done them yet. And I haven't done them for any one of these either, but I haven't stuck the little tabs on because I'm not too sure if I'll be using them or not. So I'm going to wait till I get my stuff to tomorrow and figure it out then but this is everything my little tiger's still hanging out because i love him but yeah this is the haul from today these are just the stickers uh i don't know if stickers or keychains will sell better i really could not tell you so i will be doing more tomorrow when all of my stuff comes in the mail again i'm really tired today and i have a lot of editing to get done so once i'm done with that i can fully focus on this and i will be excited but uh yeah i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Hello everyone, it is the next day. I'm currently in the middle of editing uh, that video. I'm doing the Japan video right now, so if I look exactly the same as I do in that video, that's why. I just got an email that some of my packages arrived. So I think my vertical ledge stuff as well as my uh, stickers arrived, which is so exciting. So let's go and get them. Okay, so my vertical ledge stuff just got here. It's pretty large. I don't know if this is the whole shipment or if there's more. Um, it is a lot more compact than I thought it would be. So I would love if this is like it because that would make traveling so much easier. But I'm gonna bring this inside and let's open this up. I am so excited. It got here so so fast a lot of stuff OMG. okay so i got a bunch of packages today right now i want to open my stickers so this is a huge box of stickers that are literally so many i was just thinking to myself that my little sticker box over there is getting a little bit emptier because i'm packing all these orders but now we have so many more but these are all new designs so let's go ahead and try to rip into this it's a little bit difficult lol whoa but for some reason, the shades of pink that I use always don't come out how I anticipate them to. They always come out a little bit too bright. So, oh, so many stickers. I got my hot dog stickers, which are so cute. I also got some stickers this time around for my friends. Ooh. Oh, they came out so good. Wait, the pinks do not look bad. I did adjust my file 
right before they start printing. Oh my gosh, I wanna get these out of the packaging right now. So I don't know if I'll have time to put any of these up online before my event. So this might have to be an after event thing. They look so cute. They look pretty good. I think this is how I anticipated them to come out. I will say colors are always a little bit different when I get them printed, but these look pretty good. I'm quite happy. I'm gonna leave these out, but I have so many of these. I don't remember how many of these I ordered. I kind of wish they would put the number on the box, but they don't. I did low key not have enough space for an S, so I just titled it Lotus Cutie, but they're so cute. Very happy about those. Funny girls. Oh my gosh, these came out huge. Oops. I made these so large. I meant to have these be like this sized, but they're really big, but they're little frogs. Just from the Lotus Cutie set, I decided to make those separate as well. We have these two, which are for my friend group because these are little guys that I drew for our Discord emotes a while ago. So these aren't gonna be for sale. I only have like 30 of these, but I just got them because they were doing a sale at the time. These are my pink ones. My pink UFOs, and these have a cow as opposed to my purple ones that don't have a cow. They have two little aliens being beamed up. This one, I'm super excited about. These are supposed to be translucent stickers. I'm gonna open this pack up and see uh, what those look like. These little guys, which are a little beetle on a sakura flower, which I don't really know why I drew this up, but I did and now I have them. As soon as I like submitted it, I thought it was cute. And then like two days passed and I was like, why did I do that? But here are the other frogs. We have two little frog guys. They're super cute. So many cardboard boxes behind me. Lastly, we have these little guys, which are also super cute. They're little holographic like rainbow babies. And I think they look really good. I want to stick one of these guys. I don't know where I should put it. I think it would look good on a dark surface. I don't know if I want to put it on my laptop. Oh my gosh, these came out huge which I love. I wanted them to be this big. So the white part is all translucent. So let me see. Just cause this brown color, I feel like would look good against this. And whoever gets this bubble mailer, uh, congratulations. You got a special one. Cause I just wanted to test out the sticker. Translucent, isn't that beautiful? This would look so good on a window. These are not window cling material. So you literally just stick a sticker on your window. But if you want to do that, I wouldn't judge you for it. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Do you see that? So you can really stick this on any surface. I just did this right now because I don't know what else to put it on. But those are all my stickers. I'm gonna try to get them sorted right now. And I may have to open everything else tomorrow because again, I am so busy right now. I'm so happy with how these came out. Ah, everything today looks pretty good. Hopefully it, that means I'm getting better at this stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, there's just, there's just so many. Oh gee. I hope I get it. It feels like it. What are you doing if it's in there, Tiffany? I'm gonna exit the store quietly and then freak out. No! What? Wait, why is it? No! Dang. It's not him. Who Dang. is this? It's a tiger. I don't want him. Get back in there. Rip. I'm not even gonna look at you. Okay. Let's go back over there. Second All right, try. attempt number two. Second try. Please. I thought I saw pink. Please. <gasps> oh my god. I think. <laughs> oh my god. She's beautiful. OMG. <laughs> So I'm going to be packing some of the UFO sticker sets. This is something new that I'm doing. I haven't had these before, but since I just got these stickers in the mail, I kind of want to see how they would look like. And I got these new backing cards and they kind of go with the purple little guys. And I've never really had purple stickers, I feel like. So we're going to do some of these, but I'm going to put my two little frog stickers in this pack as well, just because these are little frogs, I guess. Next, we have the pink ones. Next, I have these guys, which I definitely think this is like one of my favorite stickers that I've made in a while. I just think it's so cute. Next, we have these larger frogs. And then we have the tiny ones, which are pretty cute. Now we have just lastly, my little thank you stickers, which because they have a little bit of like dark blue slash purple slash indigo in them, they go really well with all the colors here. So I'm really happy about that. Put these in their sleeves and they end up looking like this. So I think that's pretty cute. So now we have these packs. I have like a bunch of them. I'm going to add the little backings on these so that I can hang them up. So I just grabbed one of my little plastic guys. Oh, this one has two of them disheveled. Are these still usable? I don't want to waste these, so I guess we'll use them. 
Now they got little hang tabs so they can be in my display. Tomorrow, I'm going to unbox my display and kind of set it up in my house and see how it looks. I've been meaning to do that, but I've just been so busy with like so many other things. So today I'm gonna try to pack as much stuff as I can so that I can kind of like see what it looks like. And then tomorrow I am going to unbox and see how that goes. Yeah, very excited. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. So I'm gonna try to get as much stuff packed today as I possibly can. So I just did some of the sticker sheets. I'm basically just sticking the little sticky tabs on the end here so that they can hang. Because I think that when you put them on a table like this, sometimes, especially where I get my stickers manufactured from, the edges, not that they're sticky, but just because of the way they're cut, they have a tendency to want to like stick together. So right now I'm trying to get some of these ready to, to be able to hang on some hooks so that they are all separate and people can like look through them easier. Also, I just feel like that display makes it so much easier than what I had before which was looking at stuff on a table. So these are my little Ocean Friends ones, but I also realized that I can go through and stamp the back of these with my thank you stamp since it'll fit. And that way I can get my branding on here. Unfortunately, I don't have one with like my Instagram and stuff, which is the next thing that I will have to design. I guess I have Instagram on here, so I don't really need to. Uh, I'm gonna do 25 for now. And then whatever I don't sell, I'll sell, you know, the next following week. We have these, we have these thinking of what other sheets I wanna do. I'm going through and doing this. Theoretically, like I could, I'll stamp one of them. That looks pretty cute, but I don't know if it's necessary, you know? And I'm worried that if these stack for too long, the ink will get on the ones in the back. So I don't think I'll go through and do this, but this is what it would theoretically look like if I did do that. So far, we've packed quite a few things though, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because I actually overfilmed a lot for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one where we unbox some vertical ledge stuff and I get my setup started. But thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us packing all of these new stickers and everything is available online. And again, my event is going to be July 9th. So if you guys are in the area, please stop by Atlanta. I'd really appreciate it. And you guys could be in the vlog if you want to. But yeah, stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys in the next one for some more prep. Yippee!